How you doing? Anthony D'Angelo with Samuels and Sun Seafood. Uh, I'm involved in operations as well as product development, but most of all, I am a fishmonger. So what is caviar? Caviar in general is uh, fish eggs, but specifically caviar is known from being from the sturgeon. There are different grades of sturgeon caviar, beluga being the most highly regarded, um, but at this point now beluga is on the endangered species list and it's banned in the United States. In fact, most wild sturgeon uh, is banned in the United States. So now caviar has gone more to farmed products. There are also other uh, cousins, more or less, to the uh, sturgeon species. Uh, there's paddlefish, also known as spoonbill or shovelnose, and also uh, the American sturgeon, which is known as hackleback. Uh, both are still wild products, but soon to be uh, farmed as well. Starting up top here, we have California White Sturgeon, the Royale grade, offered in one ounce units and other sizes available. Coming down to your French Trout Row, your Golden Whitefish out of the Great Lakes, your Wild Caught Alaskan Chum Salmon Row, Farm Raised Bulgarian Ocetra, Mississippi Paddlefish, Smoked Bourbon Infused Trout Row, a smaller unit of French Trout Row, bacon infused trout roll, and hackleback. We hope the variety of caviar we offer you here at Samuels and Sons Seafood helps you guys get through the holiday season and create a healthy menu option. There's a variation of egg sizes. In the major variety, Saruga tends to be the smallest, Beluga tends to be the largest, Ocetra being in between, and then obviously with the rows you go into salmon being the largest overall. The color variation changes from you know, salmon and trout being like orange to red. Some of those setchers and cerugas go silvery gray, and then there's even albino, which is very rare and very expensive and uh, used for the more high-end establishments. Uh, one of our products is the uh, Canterbury Shore uh, Paddlefish Caviar, and that's what we'll be tasting today, but uh, we'll be talking about caviar in general. So let me open this up for you. Obviously you want to keep caviar as cold as possible. It is a highly perishable product. So what's the shelf like? Uh, generally about five weeks fresh from start to finish. So the first thing we're going to do is grab a plastic spoon because we definitely don't want to use a uh, metal spoon. Uh, if we use metal utensils with caviar, it tends to take on a metallic fl flavor. So we definitely want to avoid uh, using that. So we're going to use either plastic or mother of pearl spoon. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little bit to give a taste. And I'll show you how we generally proceed with this. We're going to take a little bit out. And then generally you put a little bit on your hand to help it warm. And then you're going to taste it off of your hand. So I'm going to give you a small amount here. You're going to put that right in your hand, and that's going to your hand's going to help it to warm. Yep. Making a mess. That's all right. You can always finish it up later. Okay. And now it's sitting in your hand for a minute. Then you're going to take it to your mouth and eat it right off your hand. This is interesting. <laughs> all right. And generally, you don't really want to chew it so much. It's just kind of like press it up against the roof of your mouth and have the, the uh, eggs pop. What kind of flavors you get in there? Obviously salty up front. Salty, a little fishy. Mm -hmm. But pretty good actually. Yeah, it's got a nice buttery finish to it. To understand caviar, you have to understand where it originally came from. And uh, the beluga, the cervuga, and the cetera all came out of the Caspian Sea, which is the largest inland body of water on, in the world. They were just overfishing it completely. Uh, there was a lot of what was called suitcase caviar, where um, the black market was uh, producing caviar and then literally putting uh, kilos in the suitcases and bringing them over into Europe uh, and the United States and selling this on the black market for a lot of money. So interestingly enough, through the ban of the wild products and the introduction of the farm-raised products, there's actually been a boom in the caviar industry because of price. 
Products that were traditionally way out of the price range for a lot of restaurants that serve caviar now all of a sudden become affordable. People started uh, putting caviar back on the menu over the past five, six years. There's people using the lesser expensive products that are wild in the United States, like the paddlefish or the uh, hackleback, which are really affordable and used as garnishes or just served by the ounce. Or even using the higher end uh, osetra that would come from one of those overseas uh, operations still is nothing compared to what the wild product once went for. In a strange way, through sustainability, uh, the caviar industry has boomed once again. Shelf life on caviar, as far as my stock going in and out of here, when your chef gets it, he should be able to have it for 30 days, assuming he keeps unopened for 30 days, kept at 33, 34 degrees, kept cold enough. You never want to break the cold chain of the caviar itself. Once you break it, you're going to lose your integrity of the caviar, and that's when it's going to start to spoil. The oils are going to start to melt out, the eggs are going to soften, you're just going to lose the actual product as far as what it should taste like when you're eating it. Once your chef does open a caviar, I say 48 to 72 hours um, before it's going to turn over and maybe get a little sour and start to see your salmon eggs break down. Um, reason being, once oxygen gets into the caviar, it's going to turn around and start to turn it. So you ask how do you eat caviar, and the answer is there's no real way to eat it. If you go the old school Russian method, it would be, you know, pile it up on some toast with some butter and enjoy in plentiful amounts. Uh, you can do more of a European French style and get a beautiful little bellini, uh, put some creme fraiche on there and then put that on top and enjoy little bite-sized uh, morsels. Um, and then you could also just, you know, enjoy it actually by uh, scooping it out of the jar and placing it on the back of your hand, uh, which is my preferred method. Why taint it with anything else? Caviar is delicious in and of itself. Uh, but caviar is meant to be enjoyed by all, eat it by the, the boatload. <laughs> <laughs>